This is Tuesday morning, the 7th of October, 2018. I'm starting this video as I walk out my patio door. Uh, this is what I'm looking at this morning. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little tour. And what this is, is this is for... Anybody who should view this video with a an official capacity, an official capacity as far as civil engineering, inspectors, uh, the real estate department, uh, uh, department of real estate, uh, the uh, the people who uh, certify contractors. I think it's called regulatory civil civil engineering regulatory for the mayor, for the HOA, and each individual HOA member. Uh, this is going to be uh, something like Seward science, science project or science presentation. Uh, now that we have rain here, uh, we have a signature of uh, how the north side of the fairway on the signature hole, par 6, was uh, sculpted by the builder. And the division of labor that happened after that sculpturing, division of labor as to uh, the task of the property. As you can see right now, there's a line of water, I'll zoom in, that puddle right there you're looking at runs the length of the lot. That puddle isn't there only about two days a year we get a puddle like that. Okay, as I pan down, as we get to the other end, we're going to have more of a puddle. I'll walk it later. I don't want to walk it now. I'm going to try to explain as much as I can from here without getting the lens all wet. But, what I'm going to try to get across to the people who are sitting on the board to, uh, oh, and I include, I want to include Craig Hustis. Okay? Our, our vice mayor. I don't know if you people know what happened up here as far as the civil engineering. Okay, as far as what happened, uh, how they solved problems out here. That plan when it left Scottsdale, the master plan, uh, the spirit of that document was that every parcel would be uh, flood proof. Every lot in the prior parcel, because it was a blueprinted lot engineered in Scottsdale for its finished floor elevation, the slope of the lot, the topography of the lot, everything else uh, was designed in Scottsdale. They came out and did a preliminary survey of what the land, the raw land was, and then they imprinted their design on the land. And their design, part of that design and rules, part of the rules, it's, it's in a paragraph, it's note four on the front of the uh, grading, uh, as-built grading, master document and that as built has the original elevation or it has the design elevation and it has an elevation as to what it was built at. I had a surveyor here. You're looking at a piece of property now that's all been re reworked. I've reworked all this. I spent over six thousand dollars in two years hard labor. Uh, fixing this property so it would drain. That puddle that you see that runs the light, those are dwarf myrtles. <clears throat> I planted them two summers ago. There are 32 dwarf myrtles along a 90 feet. Okay? Before I started working this property and re-landscaping it, I had a berm between me and those plants. You see the end of this round patio? 
it went uphill about six inches to a berm and then it dropped off to where the plants were. So all the water that came off all the roofs up here and any water that dropped on any of these lots up here collected here in a retention basin that was engineered by the builder, by the town, the town let them do it. Uh, the golf course is tickled because they get to keep that tee box over here. That tee box that you're looking at, the ladies where the ladies tee off, has been illegal since day one. <clears throat> They got a pipe running under there. They're not supposed to have a pipe running under there. And that pipe is out of code as far as flow rate. The reason it was designed in Scottsdale to stop up there, 90 feet shorter and about 5 feet up in the air, was or high, 5 feet higher is because of the flow rate. If we get in a 100 year storm and that pipe becomes filled with water and you've got too much pitch to it, uh, it's dangerous both on the intake and the outtake. But somehow, uh, that plan when it got out here in Buckeye, uh, they decided they were going to condemn the old plan and confiscate that uh, piece of land right there where there was supposed to be a catch basin uh, where water ran under a cart path. There was a lot of engineering that was going to have to be done to build it by... Uh, the engineer's uh, uh, instructions or the designer, the architect's instructions were uh, more or less put aside. And uh, nobody was watching. This was an emergency function of Tract A. I haven't mentioned Tract A. A lot of people know what it is. Charlie Waters knows what it is. Uh, and uh, Edward Kelly knows all about track day. Track day is right over there. Okay. Uh, it's grossly out of compliance. It's being used. It's a catch basin. I just walked over there to where the threshold is at the end of track day. And there's no water running out of track day. Now I'm going to take a quick walk and show you my property line. I had to re-sculpt that. Right there you see a puddle, but here's what happens. You see that right there? I'm being used as retention. I'm being used as retention because right out there, you see that? They put a berm. They put a berm between my lot and the golf course so that all the water would stay up here on this lot. Now you're looking at this puddle and it can't get out. That, I used to have a berm even with that bush right there. There was a berm even with that bush that ran all the way the length that kept water between my houses. There's no more water. But look at that puddle. The water can't get out. You're using my lot for retention. And check this out over here. Check that out. I'm retaining water on my property so that it can, they, they designed it to where I had to keep hold the water up here and it's not allowed out. It's not allowed onto the golf course. All that work you see right there, I did. There used to be a berm that ran right straight through here to keep all the water. This patio right there is three inches lower than what it's supposed to be. That house is three inches lower. I have to tell everybody that their sewer pipes are out of compliance as far as pitch. Now it's raining pretty hard. At the end of track day, there's no water. All the water we've had overnight and this morning, not one, of, not one drop has leaked out on the track day. Why? Because they got, the, they got a retention basin there. It's labeled a drain, it's a retention basin. Where you see that tee box right there, there's supposed to be a catch basin. I got drafted 15 years ago by the local rednecks. This is Buckeye Homegrown. This is Buckeye Homegrown Engineering. He's from California. He'll never know. Nobody will ever figure this out. Put a berm, or drop his house three inches and put a berm across his lot and we'll never worry about water on the golf course again. Thank you for listening.